A shocking interstate flesh trade racket has been busted with Gohati being the source point of the illegal operation. The flesh trade and human trafficking racket came to light following the sudden disappearance of two girls last month. Involvement of pimps and middlemen stretching three states of Assam, Bengal and Bihar has come to light in the case with the two missing girls traced at a brothel in Bihar. Police have so far arrested four persons in connection with the case and hunt is on for another woman. Probe into the sudden disappearance of the girls began after a complaint was lodged at the Bhagar police station in Gohati on June 29th by a woman that her 18-year-old daughter, who had been requesting her for a new mobile phone, had gone missing along with her friend after she refused to buy her the handset. While investigation was on in full swing, one person called the brother of the victim demanding a sum of rupees 30,000 for her release. The call was traced to Purnia in Bihar. Accordingly, a police team of Bhagar police station was sent to Purnia, Bihar and the police team apprehended Tanvir Alam who gave the extortion call and recovered both the victim girls. It came to light during investigation that while both the victim girls were planning to go to Delhi, one person identified as Sikandar Ali met them at Paltan Bazar railway station in Gohati and after convincing them that he would help them to go to Delhi, he handed them over to Idrish Ali of Basistha. Following this, Idris Ali and his wife in association with a woman identified as Khairun Nessa of Panjipara, West Bengal, took them to Siliguri by bus and sold them off to a person identified as Akbar of Panjipara, Bihar, for a sum of rupees 1.10 lakh. Akbar handed over the girls to another person identified as Tanvir Alam, uh, forced them to work in a brothel at Rauta, Bihar. Having found sufficient evidence against the accused persons who were involved in the crime, police arrested Idrish Ali from Pilinkata, Bashistha and Sikandar Ali from Paltan Bazar railway station. During investigation, it also came to light that Khairun Nessa of West Bengal was staying at the house of Idris Ali and was planning to take another girl to the brothel at Bihar. Based on the information, she was also arrested and all the four accused persons have been produced before the judicial magistrate and brought on a police remand. Further investigation is underway to arrest the wife of Idris Ali of Basista, who is now absconding. My colleague Arindam Das joins us live from Gohati at this point in time. Arindam, a very shocking, sensational case of, of uh, human trafficking has come to light with the base, it seems to be, in Gohati from where girls are being trafficked to Delhi. And as far as the investigation is concerned, what is the update as far as the manhunt for the wife of Idris Ali is concerned, Arindam? Uh, that's right, uh, Ronak. Uh, this is indeed a shocking incident of uh, human trafficking of girls uh, from Guwahati, which has come to light. Uh, in fact, uh, these girls used to be uh, taken from Guwahati to other parts of the country to be sold in various uh, brothels. Uh, so uh, the police stumbled upon this uh, huge uh, racket when they were investigating the case of two missing girls from uh, Guwahati. In initially, a complaint and FIR was filed by the parents of a girl who went missing uh, with another girl from the Ganeshguri area, from the Bhangagar area, sorry. And uh, then uh, based on that FIR, they found that uh, a ransom call was made uh, to the girl's brother from a phone number. And when uh, they traced uh, this uh, uh, number, it, it, it came out that the number was from uh, Bihar. So after that, a team of uh, some police was uh, sent uh, to Bihar uh, to rescue the girls and also investigate the matter when uh, they arrested uh, this person. And from that connection, uh, there was another connection which was established uh, that a lady from West Bengal was also involved in this uh, uh, racket. Uh, and after that, many more arrests were made. So finally, the girls have been rescued uh, from uh, Bihar, from Purnia in Bihar, and they have been brought back uh, to uh, Guwahati and have been handed over to their. Uh, parents. Uh, so uh, right now also police is investigating the matter because uh, this might be a huge racket uh, which is uh, continuing probably in Guwahati for a long time because uh, the girls uh, when they were asked by the police uh, it came uh, to light uh, that uh, they went to Guwahati railway station and they met a person there who told them that uh, he would take them to Delhi for a job 
and that's how they were taken to Purnia in uh, Bihar and the plan was that they would be sold to brothels, brothels in Bihar and uh, uh, that's how uh, each girl was uh, priced at rupees or so 1 lakh uh, 10,000 rupees. Ronald. Right and uh, Arindam of course what does the Guwahati police have to say as far as the investigation currently is concerned? Can we expect more arrests to come in the days to come? Uh, yes, uh, Ronak, uh, more arrests are likely in this uh, case. Uh, in fact, we tried to get an official uh, reaction or a soundbite from the Commissioner of Police. Uh, he's uh, busy in some meeting. Uh, probably he will be giving uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow in this uh, matter because uh, this is exploding big. This uh, racket is exploding big of human trafficking from uh, Guwahati. So police is right now investigating uh, the matter. And in fact, um, many arrests have already been made. and. They are right now searching for more people connected to this uh, record because this might not be an isolated single case which has come to light. There might be many other cases which had happened in the past which did not come uh, to the notice of the police. Uh, but this time, since an FIR was uh, filed about the two missing girls, and based on that FIR, police started the investigation and they zeroed in on two people in Bihar and West Bengal, and that's how the arrests have been made. So right now, investigation is underway, and more arrests are likely in the coming days. All right, Arindam Das, thank you very much for all those updates at this point in time. So viewers, that is the big story we're tracking from Sam. A big uh, human trafficking, sex trafficking racket has been unearthed and hopefully there will be more arrests in the days to come as girls are being trafficked from Sam, from Gohati in particular, for and being sold off to brothels in the national capital.